We've been farming around here for 300 years. I think my father's father's father goes back to 1680. We're a mixed farm, primarily based on dairy cows, but we, in fact, for the shop, we, we do beef, lamb and pork. We opened three and a half years ago. So we became a, a, a farm shop, we became a, a retailer, we became a butcher, and we became a restaurateur. So it was a bit scary, I, I don't mind admitting, uh, but it's been an exciting journey and, and we're still alive. And we've, we've grown consistently somewhere between 10 and 15% per annum. It's been a very exciting challenge being involved in retail. And obviously I saw the opportunity that we actually have our own beef, lamb and pork, and there's not many farm shops anywhere in the UK that can actually do their own beef, lamb and pork every week of the year. So I think that's what customers are looking for. They're looking for that traceability. They trust us and, and it's our responsibility to make sure that we don't betray that trust in any way. We keep building the trust and making sure we get it right every time. So the two things that we've got to be able to do if it's a challenge for anybody is one, we've got to be better than everybody else at, at service and we've got to be better in our case on our butchery, which is our lead product. I tell the people that it has to be the very best you can buy anywhere in the world and I think we could be the very best in the world. So that's the sort of standard I keep trying to instill in all of our team. There's no doubt the destination aspect of this is, is key. So yeah, it's very easy for people with families to come here and spend a, a couple of hours. Uh, it's also easy for them to pop in and, and pick up something for the tea before they go home at night. And so we've got to be aware of, of all of these things. And, and we're now doing events on a Thursday evening to pick up a different clientele, people who are working, who come here with their families on a Thursday evening. Uh, we've done all sorts of different themes from steak nights, carveries, Mexican nights and tapas night, uh, different things. Uh, particularly during the nice summer we've had, they're all playing out in the patio, the kids are on the swings and mum and dad are sitting having a nice, a nice couple of steaks and a glass of wine. Uh, that's the, that's the, really the, the satisfying bit about the job when we get it to work. We are now taking a new launch into internet and home delivery and uh, that's really the next stage of the development of the, of the shop. We took on a marketing manager last year uh, who's developed or redone our whole internet so that it's, uh, people are able to shop on it, which is a very, very big job in itself. And we've also built uh, some processing facilities uh, with a packing room and extra fridges so that we can handle the extra volume. Definitely has a huge potential in the future. I think we've tried to, to, to hit most of the buttons that people are looking for. They want something old. We've, we've kept the kiln. The kiln is the part of there would be a kiln on this farm. We've resurrected these stone buildings. We've used sandstone. And people really feel a warmth. And, and I think that's the, what I'm trying to create. They, they, they have a, a, a subliminal warm feeling that they've, the, the food's been good, the produce is good. And I'm very, very unhappy if someone doesn't go away from here feeling that was a nice experience. Mm -hmm.